So you've returned. Then you know everything. On the other side of that gate, Zelda waits, suspended in a sleep without end. But do not despair, for she is still alive and well. True to legend, the Triforce is the one thing with the power to vanquish demise. It is thought to have been hidden within Skyloft by the goddess. Sadly, that is all we know of where it rests. All other clues to its whereabouts have been lost to the ages. Link, you have likely come to the same conclusion, but I will spell it out just the same. The key to finding the Triforce must be in Skyloft. Go now, Link. Find the Triforce. Whoa! Whoa there! Hold up! Link, there's something I gotta tell you! So, Zelda. How's she holding up? Was she okay when you saw her? That's terrible. It's gotta be so hard for the poor girl. But, you're going to do something about this mess, right? Link, I've made up my mind. I'm not going back. I'm staying right here with Granny. Ah, uh, don't look so bummed out. Do I look sad? Nah, I'm doing what I want to do. I don't know how to explain it. I get this feeling in my belly that there's work to do here. Someone's gotta watch that big ugly monster. And someone's gotta make sure Granny's doing alright. It ain't as action-packed as what you're doing, but maybe this is my destiny, know what I mean? Besides, it's not so bad here. Living up in the sky was okay, I guess. But don't you just love the way it smells down here? What? That's not weird to say. Check it out. Zelda and Granny have brought life back to the land here. I bet even the weakest sapling could grow into one beast of a tree in soil like this. It'd brighten this place up a little, too. I mean, sure, it'd take a few years for it to grow, but as far as I'm concerned, I got nothing but time. It's weird to say out loud, but that's just how I feel right now. So, yeah, you know, when you get back to Skyloft, do me a favor and let people know I'm doing okay down here. Colin and Stritch might get a little emotional since they look up to me, but you tell them I'm happy, okay? Thanks, Link. Link, I've been doing some thinking since we last spoke. You have had this destiny thrust upon you without warning, or choice for that matter, but I wish to help you as best I can. I'm getting older, and I lack the vigor of youth. But even old men have ways of being useful, too. I wish to share as much of my knowledge with you as I can. If you have any questions, any questions at all about Skyloft or its history, I will be glad to tell you all that I know. What do I know of the Triforce? Link, where did you hear that word? It's true that the ancient texts make several mentions of the Triforce within their pages. Unfortunately, the actual location of the Triforce isn't illuminated in any of those tomes. Its whereabouts are lost to history. Sorry, Link. It shames me to say it, but my knowledge is of little use on this subject. Link, just a moment. Though there is one whose vast knowledge may be of use. Surely you're familiar with Levias the great sky spirit who has guarded our realm for ages. Levias has served as the protector of our skies for a long time, and his knowledge of our world is encyclopedic, to put it mildly. If anyone in the entirety of Skyloft and beyond were to know about the Triforce, it would be him. Yes, his knowledge is almost limitless, but I fear meeting him may be harder than you anticipate. I imagine in your travels you've taken notice of the tremendous thunderhead that suddenly appeared in our skies. 
Recently, I've heard rumors suggesting that Levias is trapped inside that massive cloud. I asked Instructor Owlin to look into this troubling cloud in order to determine if there's any truth to these rumors. I had meant to inquire about his findings earlier, but completely forgot about it after Zelda went missing. Instructor Owlin can fill me in on the details later, so why don't you go speak with him yourself and see what his investigation has revealed. Levias is inside the Thunderhead. He's been acting so strangely, like something has possessed him. If we can somehow free him from whatever it is that has a hold over him, then there's a chance he will return to his senses. Maybe the owner of the Lumpy Pumpkin might know something. Every year he makes an offering of his pumpkin soup for Levias. Go to the Lumpy Pumpkin and ask him what he knows. What's the matter? You look like you got something mighty serious on your mind. Levias? What about it? Sure, I know Levias well, but I wasn't aware anything was wrong. Every year I offer him an entire basin full of my pumpkin soup. But lately a huge thunderhead has been brewing there and I haven't yet made this year's offering. I tell you, I feel horrible about it. You say you'll deliver a pot of my soup to Levias? Huh. I don't know how you plan to fly into that huge thunderhead brewing out there, but... If that's the case, I'm gonna do everything I can to make Levias the best batch of soup ever! You wait right here! I'm getting inspired to fire up some soup like I've never soup before! Voila! Here it is! I've been cooking this stuff for well over 10 years, and I have to say, this is the best batch of pumpkin soup I have ever created. Master, I will signal for the robot. Miss Fi, I'm here! Oh, this is another heavy load. But don't worry. I can carry anything! I'll be waiting outside. I can take you wherever you need to go as soon as you're ready. The place where I offer soup to Levias is inside the Thunderhead Cloud, on an island with an everlasting rainbow. Oh, you'll know it when you see it. Good luck! I'm unloading this cargo of pumpkin soup here. You've picked an odd place for soup delivery. Feels dangerous. Something could jump out at us at any moment. Hungry for soup. Or robot. I'm out of here. See you around.
Tell me, boy, was it you who brought me this most delectable cauldron of pumpkin soup? I must apologize for my earlier behavior. A most peculiar and irksome pest possessed me. I was not myself. But that business is done with now. The delicious aroma of that soup has restored me to my senses. I am the great spirit they call Leviathan. Before she passed from this world so long ago, the goddess Hylia appointed me as Warden of the Skies. And what do they call you, boy? Ah, Link, is it? A rather pleasing name, that. Your parents clearly have excellent tasting names. Hmm. You carry a curious sword, boy. And I sense a silent power dwelling somewhere in that little frame. Ah, I see it now. Link, you are the goddess's chosen hero. How interesting. I assume you've come to hear what I know of the Triforce. As I suspected. Listen closely and I will tell you. As you likely know, long ago, an evil force attempted to take the Triforce for his own. The Goddess did everything in her power to prevent him from falling into his hands. For the safety of all things, she hid the Triforce somewhere within the rock you call Skyloft. However, its location has been kept a secret. Even I do not know where it rests now. Oh, but the Goddess did entrust me with a hint as to the Triforce's location. The clue is a song, meant to be played on the harp you hold. It is known as the Song of the Hero. The song is the key to revealing the secret location of the Triforce. The goddess split this song into four parts. She entrusted one part to me, and the other three to the dragons of the land. You must gather each of the parts of the song of the hero, seek out the dragons, and convince them to teach you their parts. When they've taught you what they know, Come to me, and I will complete the song with my own voice. The dragons can be found at Farron Woods, Elden Volcano, and the Nehru Desert. Go on then. Find the dragons you now seek. I see. You must seek out the three dragons and complete the song of the hero to find the Triforce. It is right your search led you here. The Farren Woods are close by. Unfortunately, there has been an unusual turn of events in the woods. I am unsure of what happened, but a short while ago, I noticed the path to the woods was completely flooded. To protect the land here, I closed the gate leading to the woods and drove back the water with a simple seal. The seal will only hold as long as the gate remains closed, meaning you will not be able to open it without flooding these lands. Given this situation, I am at a loss as to how you can enter the woods. Heh! <laughs> Is that all? Consider the problem solved! See, that last battle with Big Ugly got me thinking about other ways to use the Grusinator. Just climb up into that bad boy, and I'll give you a lift over to the woods, alright? I'll run ahead and get her prepped for you. Come see me when you're ready to take a little flight. Oh my. The boy has made himself very useful. But he does have a tendency to cause trouble for those he... helps. Safe journey. I wish you a soft landing, Link. Want to head to Farron Woods, do you? No sweat. Just hop into the Grusinator, and I'll fling you over. 
All right. Hop in, and I'll take care of the flinging. You just worry about the landing. With my machine, the woods are just a fling away. from before. Come to think of it, I'd forgotten to ask your name. I see. Link, is it? Now there's an odd name. Goo. Ah. What brings you to see me? Goo. It's good to see you again. Yes, things look a bit different here, don't they? The water came gushing out of the base of the tree behind me and flooded the entire woods. I don't know what caused it, but I suppose it will clear out the monster infestation, cool? So you won't hear me complaining. me recover from my injuries some time ago. Uh, Link, was it? Let's have a look at you. Yes, you seem a good deal stronger than the last time we met. And look at that sword. You're the real thing, boy. It's clear you have the spirit of a hero of the goddess. Let me guess. You swam all the way here to try to get me to teach you the part of the Song of the Hero the Goddess entrusted to me. That's all well and good, but I can't go around giving away something that precious to every hero who flounders into my waters. No, I think a final test is in order to ensure you are, in fact, the one meant to hear this melody of mine. This may be news to you, but some very irksome monsters have been overrunning my woods of late. Well, I decided that I'd had enough! The easiest way to deal with the awful things was to flood the whole woods! As it happens, almost every inch of greenery in the area is submerged. So it's here, in this flooded land, that I will test you. If you're up to completing the task I ask of you, I see no reason why I shouldn't reward you with the melody you seek. Uh. just saw, I have split the melody you seek among my many tadtoads, and I have hidden them around the forest. If you oh. haven't already guessed, Link, here's your task. Take this score and collect all my little musical friends out there. You can use that score to figure out how many tadtoads are in each group. Find them, collect them, and bring them back to me. 
If you can do that, well, then I'll just have to see you as someone worthy of learning the song of the hero. Tones, haven't you? That's no small feat. Or should I say, no small beat? Coo! <laughs> anyway, hurry and return to the water dragon. Oh, you've brought back all my colorful little tad tones. You are indeed worthy of being called a hero. This much is clear. I'm good for my word, so I will teach you my part of the song you seek. I had planned to keep these woods underwater so that those awful monsters could never return. But your task is far from over, and you're not exactly at home in the water. I suppose I'll return the woods to their natural state. Ugh, all this excitement has been rather draining. I believe I'll retire to my hall. You'd best be on your way as well. Flesh and blood has walked his way to the heart of my burning hall. Now this is something. If I have the right of it, the mark you bear upon your hand is not just a fashionable decoration. There can be no doubt about it then. The goddess has chosen you to hear the melody I have guarded for her all these years. Listen well, human child. I will sing you my part of the song of the hero. That eruption was caused by an explosion of my power. It looks like you were caught up in it. My apologies. The skies above this land should clear soon. You should go. This is the Nehru Gorge. Legend tells of a dragon loyal to the goddess living in this area.
Signs indicate that an ancient civilization established a core here to mine the deposit of high-quality timeshift stones. Consequently, the terrain is intricately subdivided with the remnants of long-abandoned mining equipment, such as minecarts and their tracks. Coming this far, what is it? <coughs> I see. So you're Link from the sky. That's not much of a name, is it? How about I add a model number to your name like my friends have got? Maybe LD Link 16. Oh, I can tell you don't like the sound of that. <laughs> That's a shame. <coughs> <coughs> so, what can I do for you? Oh, you say you need me to teach you a song? <coughs> Hold on now. Didn't you just say you came from the Sky Link? So then you're the hero chosen by the goddess, aren't you? I see. Well, that is something. Although I must apologize. You see, I can't really help you. I may have enough strength for a brief chat like this, but... Well... As you can see, I am quite ill. <coughs> I'm in no shape to sing. And to think it was the goddess herself who entrusted me with this important duty. I feel the deepest shame. <coughs> the robots were worried about me. So they planted a seedling from the Tree of Life. The fruit of this tree is said to be able to cure any illness. They planted the seedling over there. <coughs> but it just won't grow. <coughs> I think this is the end for me. <coughs> Master Thunder Dragon's condition has been bad for a long time, and the soil here is not suitable for growing trees, Zert. If only we had more time, Vroom! Hey, Link! Now that is a serious seedling! Why didn't you tell me you had that thing on you? I'm no expert, but it seems like the perfect fit for this temple. If you plant it here, it'll grow for sure. Only downside is, it's gonna take basically forever for a seedling that big to grow into a full tree. Let's the time oh yeah! Now this is a tree I could look at all day! It's like a symbol for this temple, or something. Every time I stare at it, my jaw starts hanging open and I get this weird happy feeling. <laughs> oh, Link, hello there. Is there something you need? what I think it is. You brought that here for me, didn't you? Hmm? Ah! Oh -ho! 
down the hatch. Zinga mm. 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 ding ding. Oh, you've done it, boy. I can feel the fruits effect surging through me. It's exhilarating. I feel like a proper dragon again. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Woo! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Just because I have eternal life doesn't mean I can't get mighty sick. Thanks to you, boy, this old dragon will keep on charging a while yet. I owe you a big thank you. So allow me to perform a moving rendition of my part of the Song of the Hero. I should warn you, I've got a mean set of pipes and I know how to use them. This'll clean out those ears, boy. So brace yourself. Oh. <laughs> so, you've learned all three parts of the song from the dragons, eh? You have done well, young one. True to my word, I will perform the last part of the song for you. <clears throat> into the center of the mark and open the way to the final silent realm. <laughs> Master Ling, you have entered the last of the trials, the goddess's silent realm.
When you have filled the spirit vessel once more, you shall finally be recognized as the true hero of legend. Only then will you be shown the door that will lead you to the Triforce. Master, I wish you success in this trial. Congratulations, Master. You have passed all of the trials. The Stone of Trials you just obtained is actually one of a pair, Master. Another similar object with a mark just like the one you hold exists somewhere on this island. Combining the two should open the way to the Triforce. I suggest that you search for that matching stone. A report, Master Link. My calculations indicate an 85% chance that the structure you uncovered houses the Triforce. Given this development, I project that the moment for Zelda to fulfill her destiny and bring an end to demise is close at hand. Master, I have information to report. I've detected three sources of sacred power within this building. This power clearly radiates from the Triforce. I've triangulated the three sources of power and marked them on your map. This building structure is able to change by the arrangements you desire to navigate the area. With your capability, use them to your advantage to obtain all three parts of the Triforce to obtain the sacred power. <laughs>
Master, I believe at this juncture that a prayer is required. The ultimate goal we have traveled so far for is now within reach. Focus now, and wish with all your might for the destruction of Demise. Master Ling, I have news. I have confirmed that the Isle of the Goddess, which was formerly a part of Skyloft, has returned to the surface. Furthermore, I have detected the successful eradication of Demise. Your prayers to the Triforce have been heard. In light of these factors, the seal Zelda maintained through her age-long sleep is no longer necessary. My projections indicate she will wake momentarily. <gasps> I advise you to make your way to the sealed temple as soon as possible.
some celebratory bruise kisses and have some more come on everybody group hug <laughs> This is all very touching, really, but I'm afraid I have to cut this emotional moment short. It's best for everyone if you forget about your friend. The little goddess is mine now. <laughs> My master may have perished in this but in the past, he lives yet. I'm taking the girl back through that gate to help me revive the Demon King. You've been so adorably dogged in your quest to get in my way. And as much as it has delighted me, I can no longer tolerate you nipping at my heels. Link. <laughs> You know, boy, you've really pushed me too far. The moment I sweated and bled for is at hand. I don't even have the time to grind my heel into a worm like you. Not now. Stand down. You're in my way, and the sight of your appalling hair makes my gorge rise. a fine job of spoiling my plans to revive the Demon King in this age, so I see no point in dawdling here. But the past, oh, the past, so full of possibilities. I shall resurrect him there with the divine soul of this golden-haired girl. <laughs> Link, it's Kirim. He appeared out of thin air and got the drop on me. Don't worry about me. You must chase after him. He ran through the great doors at the front of the temple. You may yet catch him before it's too late. Hurry!
Complete. The Demon King returns! Until then, you will keep that whelp from interfering with my ritual! I don't care if the whole lot of you get lodged on the end of his blade. You will buy me the time I need! Do not fear him! Fear my wrath if you fail me! <sighs> You're far too quick, boy. I realize a simple child like you knows nothing of magic, but spells like this take time and a steady hand. Can't you wait quietly like a good boy? Hmm? You petulant. You've pushed me too far. I've waited my whole existence for this. This is my moment! You know what? Fine! If you're so intent on hurrying to your grave, I'll be happy to show you the way. This time there will be no heroic escape. I was a fool to toy with you and let you walk away with your life before. But I won't make that mistake again. That I promise. If only I'd put you in your place from the very beginning. Show a human a little mercy, and the next thing you know, he thinks himself your equal. Given my station, I had to maintain some semblance of dignity. So I let you run with your life. Twice, even. Such a guilty pleasure. But instead of scurrying away like any creature with a basic instinct to survive, you just kept coming back. Again. And again. And again! I've let a mere boy make a fool of me for the last time! You stand before a demon. Should I say, a weapon without mercy? <gasps> For you, boy, I've prepared a most appropriate and humiliating death. I even have a pet name for it. I call it the Endless Plunge. First, I will take my time bludgeoning you. And when I grow bored, I will drive you to the edge and deliver a last strike to send you falling to your doom. I'll delight in casting your body into this pit and snuffing out the flame of your life. Your broken body will serve as fine sustenance for the Demon King!
This is preposterous. Driven to my knees by a simple child of man. Laughable. No matter how many times we clash, I can't prevail. You think I can't defeat you? You think I can't win? Boy, what are you? <laughs> Oh, but never mind that. Victory is still mine to savor. While we fought, the ritual I started continued. At last, it's complete! The Demon King shall devour the soul of the goddess and resurrect in his full glory! <laughs> Goddess lowered herself to a mortal existence to keep me imprisoned. How pathetic. This bag of flesh pales in comparison to the magnificence of her previous form. Don't worry, Lake. 
Bruce has got this! Lead guy! I caught her! She's okay! Other human would stand before obliteration to aid the goddess, would you? How curious. The humans I've known were weak things. Hardly more than insects, shivering under rocks, and ready to flee at a mere glimpse of me. When last I walked this world, they did little more than scream and cling to their goddess. Mewling and praying, counting on her to protect them. How amusing to think those cowards begot someone like you. <laughs> you grow more fascinating by the second human. I never imagined I'd meet one of your kind who wished to stand against me in battle. Very well then, I shall prepare a place for us where we will not be bothered by distractions. If you still have the courage to face me, seek me there. Link! It's all on you! Oh, and listen up! Granny had some info for you! The old girl says it'll take time for that gray swad to absorb Zelda's soul completely. If you can take him down before her soul gets all sucked up into that... thing... you might still have a chance! I... I know you can do it. So... Yeah! You've gotta do this! You're all Zelda's got! You've gotta make this happen! Mr. Link, I have important information for you. Once you enter this portal, my analysis indicates a 0% chance that you will be able to return, unless you are able to vanquish your foe. Are you ready to proceed? Understood, Master Link. Know that even in the place that lies beyond this portal, I will be with you. And Master? Good luck. It's up to you now, Link. decided to meet your end in battle after all. It pleases me greatly to see such misplaced valor, human. 
Take a moment to appreciate your surroundings, for where we stand shall serve as your tomb for eternity. for the gods that has boiled in my veins. You will taste all of it in the bite of my blade. The only question left is how long you will manage to remain standing before I take your life. Try to keep it interesting for me, would you? And when you do fall, Know that your world and everything in it is mine to dominate, mine to subjugate, mine to rule. When I finish with you, you can take solace in knowing your friends and kin will soon follow as I wipe all who oppose me from the face of this world. Shall be under my foot for eternity! Let's get this over quickly. confirmed the eradication of the Demon King. His residual consciousness has been absorbed into the Master Sword and is now sealed away.
You have done well, Link. I like to call the Legend of Groose. That's a little joke. Joke or not, your contributions to our efforts were heroic. You have my thanks. Oh, well, you know. Just glad I could make myself useful. I'm happy things turned out okay. Hey, so things look pretty sewn up here. What do you say, guys? Ready to head back to our own time? Granny was really worried about you two. We don't want to keep the old girl in suspense too long. Huh. <laughs> Hylia, your grace. Or perhaps you prefer Zelda. It pleases me to know you are safe. Master, I must speak with you. Master Ling, you have successfully protected the Goddess Reborn and defeated Demise, fulfilling your role as the hero of legend. My purpose here is complete. Therefore, I ask you to dissolve our arrangement as master and servant. Drive the sword into the pedestal before you, and I will return to the sword to enter asleep without end. Master, you have achieved the purpose you are chosen to fulfill. Please, set the sword in the pedestal and bring the goddess's mission to an end. Now, master, it is time to conclude our necessary companionship. was to obey the command of the goddess and lead you, the chosen hero of this land, on your quest. When I first awoke and began this task, I perceived it as merely serving my function as a servant to her grace. However, I have come to consider the information corresponding to our time together among the most precious data I have on record. I do not have the capability to fully understand the human spirit link. But now, at the end of my journey with you, as I prepare to sleep within the Master Sword forever, I experience a feeling I am unable to identify. I lack sufficient data to be sure of my conclusion. But I believe this feeling correlates closest to what your people call 
happiness. Our partnership is at an end, and even as we speak, I feel my consciousness fading away. Before I entered the sleep that calls me to the sword, I wish to relay to you words that I recorded many times over the course of our journey. Many have said them to you thus far, but I now wish to say them for myself. Thank you, Master Link. May we meet again in another life. Zelda, your grace, you possess the memories of the goddess. You must understand why that is not possible. I am a being of this age. My place is here. I... I know that, but... You must return to your own time. I will take care of the gate once you have passed through. I... can't do that. You and I have been through so much together. I don't want to leave you alone. Please, Impa, come back with us. Zelda, at the command of the goddess, I passed through the Gate of Time. I did so to protect you and aid the fight to prevent the world's destruction. The last remnants of demise are decaying slowly within the sword. Someone must stay behind to watch over this blade. His spirit must not reawaken. He must never be allowed to threaten the world again. This is the nature of the task given to my tribe. As a member of the Sheikah, the goddess's chosen guardians, I gladly welcome this duty. Zelda. I shall watch over the Triforce. Its power is too great to leave in the grasp of man. Dependence on its might is an invitation to disaster. When it has served its purpose, it must be secreted away to lie dormant once again. The knowledge of its existence hidden from mortal history. These are the words the Goddess spoke to me long ago. I remember them well, as do you, I'm sure. Before we go, I want you to have this. As a token of our time together, I'll never forget you, Impa. Do not despair, Zelda. You and I will surely meet again someday. You should have been there. Demise got all scared at the sight of me. Of course, Link took care of him. Yeah! <laughs> uh -huh. See? 
I told you we'd meet again.
Look around us. As a child, I always dreamed of a world below. I wanted to see the surface with my own eyes and feel the land's warm breeze on my skin. I... I think I want to live here. I always want to feel solid ground beneath my feet, see the clouds above my head, and watch over the Triforce. What about you, Link? What will you do now? Ha <laughs> ha!